No, Chad, not done. Just getting started. Hello, Chad. Hello, Joe. Hello, John. Hi, Joe. How's the guys doing today? Uh, well, I guess we're doing pretty well. We're at a giant building that's full of beer. I like beer. Apparently, so do the guys from Atlas Butler. Hope they're not in trouble for me zooming in on their trucks. I'm sure they're working, though, right? Oh, I'm sure. They got to be working. What I love is there's a spigot that comes out to like deliver beer into like a big beer delivery truck. Really? Like if you look out over there underneath the. Uh, so what would happen if you like pulled up with a regular pickup truck with a kiddie pool in the back of it? I hope they fill it. They might. They very well might. Well, we're obviously at the Brew Dog Brewery and Tap Room. As you can see by the small lettering on the side of the building. You it see looks... what they wanted to do in the paper today? No. No, these guys they want to build a, a bar that straddles the U.S. Mexican border. Half of it's in Mexico and half of it, and they said it could screw up the wall. Yeah, well, like we need another reason to encourage people to come to the U.S. Right. Especially walk in one side, walk out the other. Yeah, I like that. Just don't walk out the wrong side late at night, you might have trouble. <laughs> it's not going to be the most exciting POV movie I've ever seen. You never know. Oh, I'm pretty sure. Let me get that for you. So you can mark it. Thank you. I did. Nice. Look at this. Oh, man, look at that. Let's see. Well, where would we be? We would be, we would be right in here somewhere. Yes. <laughs> we would be right in there. Getting ready to go over here. Yep. Getting ready to walk into there. Uh, That's very cool. I uh, never had the patience to build anything like that. Yeah, Legos. Yeah. And here we go. Help. Wow. You see the uh, pinball? And, uh, uh, yeah. I do see them over there. Yeah. They got part of a uh, <laughs> transoceanic container too. Very nice. This place is Aberdeen. All right, so here we are inside the Brew Dog Tap Room. And Chad is like, he won't let go of the beer menu. It's a beer menu. I know. You know, John, we're here on International Beer Day. We almost got Chad to have a beer. We did. Almost. They do have a non-alcoholic beer. See, you could have done that. You know, I what's the point? Could have pretended. That's what I, I mean, beer doesn't taste that great that I want no alcohol out of it. <laughs> right. So. That's not why you drink beer. No. So you're not, not. going to let go of that all day, are you? You're no. Just going to hold that. I may look. Anything I'm, interesting on there that you've seen? Well, I mean, yeah. There's uh, the the, uh, the Dead Pony uh, Club, which sounds like it's a it's a good American Pale Ale. Um, I'm focusing on it. The Nanny uh, is, uh, is is the, is the non-alcoholic. The Nanny. Yeah. Um, but they have fun names like Hop Fiction. Yes. Um, and then uh, so they, they spend a lot of time naming the beers. Coco Psycho, which yes. And these are the ones that they do here, and these are the ones that they uh, other people do. Other, do, other people do. I can see all the uh, all the brewing equipment in there. You can go swim in the bat. I'm sure it'd be good for your skin. It's kind of an interesting place in here. I've never been a big guy. It's all the rage. You gonna play pinball? Maybe. That I made. They've got some pinball machines down there. We may have to go check them out. Zoom in on them enough that you can see them. Yeah, right there. Pinball machines. Check those out a little bit later. Holy moly. That is a pretty giant pretzel. It is. Chad, can you get your head close enough to it so I can see how big it is compared to your head? All right, never mind. I was just kidding. Oh, no, I guess I wasn't kidding. Oh, yeah. Hey, look, it's a pretzel as big as Chad's head. Which is hard to do because nice. I have a large head. Apparently, the beer cheese is uh, has actual gold in it. 
Uh, and the reason I say that is, look how tiny that little container is. Yeah, it's tiny. That won't even, that wouldn't even be sufficient for one of the little rungs in the middle there. But yeah, yeah. butter. Um, garlic butter. Garlic, garlic butter. butter. Yeah. So. All right. So there we go. We got a pretzel as our appetizer. It looks like a good pretzel. Smells but, good, but pretty pretty weak on the beer cheese. I, mm -hmm. I don't care how good it is; it's not enough. Not for that. Not price. even close. Nope. But we're gonna eat it anyway. Yeah. Got a Boylan's uh, real cane sugar, grape soda. We got there in the uh, squeezy thing there. Chad. I don't know. I was gonna squeeze some out and see. Ketchup maybe. Yeah, looks but like it's ketchup got... to me. No, it's a. It's it's a sort of sack. Mm. It's some. I mean, it is a ketchup, but I think it's maybe it's like sriracha ketchup or something. It's got to be. There's, yeah, there's be spices it. in it. You can see through. Hmm. All right. Oh, we're gonna eat anyway. Yes, we are. Cutting something up there, Johnny. What is it? Ah, uh, just <clears throat> cutting this in half. Give me a better shot. It, it's got some uh, tortilla chips on there. And is egg. it a burger or something else? It's a burger, and oh, it also okay. has pulled pork on it. Ooh, nice. Yeah. Nice. Got a nice basket of fries over there. Yeah, that's making up for the uh, the weak amount of fries we got last week. Right. Oh. <laughs> and Chad. Oh. I got the smoked mac and cheese, and they added chorizo to it. And I Look think this that. is like a bacon chutney, maybe. Nice. Very nice. It also comes with a side of fries. Yes. Yeah, nice basket of fries. Mm -hmm. I got the. I think it's called the smoky meaty. Spicy meaty. Spicy meaty. I'm sorry. It's a. Pizza here with, uh, well, looks like pepperoni, obviously dollops of mozzarella cheese, maybe some jalapeno peppers or something like that. We all's gonna eat now. 